Today we're going to show you how to install the variable speed spindle upgrade, the VSS upgrade, on your mill. Now, these are the two parts that we're going to have to put on right here. And what we're going to take off is we're going to take off the switch box, we're going to take off the dust shield, we're going to take off the spindle and motor, and we're going to take off the motor mount. But before we do any of this. So it'll make the operation real easy. What we're going to do is we're going to sweep the table. Now I've already gone back and forth a little bit and swept this one where I have a dial indicator here, a couple of one, two, three blocks, and it's zero right here, zero, and we go on this side and it's zero. So we have zero on both sides which means this is nice and uh, perpendicular and it's ready to go. So let's start taking apart some stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this uh, vertical dust shield right here. There we go. Then I'm going to take off the switch box. There we go. Now we're going to take off the spindle motor and the spindle all as one unit. You know, there's a little screw down here that kind of keeps them in place so they won't come uh, crashing down. Just like so. Now we're going to remove the main spindle mount. There we go. Now you'll notice here there's a notch on one side and no notch on the other. The notch must face up. The notch faces up and this goes into the bottom six holes like so where we have these two holes left on top and that's going to be for our dust shield adapter. We now have some one and a half inch screws that we're going to put this on with, just like so. Okay, so now that I have this on here, we're going to keep all of these loose except this one in the upper left hand corner, so they're kind of a swing spot for it right there. And that'll be a little snug. And now what we're going to do is I take my, my spindle back and I'm going to put this right back on here like so on this one. Put my dial indicator back in. Like so. Put my blocks under here. Set this to zero. Oh, there you go. All right. There it is. Now, pull this back up. And we'll tighten this one, like so. Tighten all the rest of these. We'll put it back on. And we'll see if it stayed where we put it.
There we go. Very good. All right. So we got that taken care of. Now, let's put on, let's take this back off. Now, I'm going to put on the uh, shield plate. And then with the same screws that you took off, we're going to put on the shield. And there we have it. Now you drop your VSS, your variable uh, speed spindle, right down on here, lock it down. Remember, we got this notch facing up. Shield is ready to go, and it's all nice and uh, square. Uh, it's ready to go.